everyone and welcome back to the second of our three-part series of our behind the scenes look into the museum collections here at Zion National Park. My name is Amy McKinney and I'm a museum technician here, which means that I'm responsible for documenting and taking care of the over 880,000 items that we have in our collection. Today we're standing in our storage room and showing you some highlights of items that aren't on exhibit right now. Uh, the periods that we'll be talking about are um, early park development and the time of the Civilian Conservation Corps in the park. The first item that I wanted to show to you all is a dedication card from when Zion became a national park. The land was first set aside as public land as Makuntaweep National Monument in 1909 and it received national park status as Zion National Park in 1919. The next year, in 1920, there was a big celebration of this change in recognition. Um, and this card, although it's not valid anymore as a ticket to the ceremony, it shows us what a great um, celebration that was. Uh, on the back, it actually says, Today is the christening day of a most wondrous child born of God and nature, a child of such ethereal beauty that man stands enthralled in her presence. That really shows us how awe-inspiring um, people viewed Zion and still continue to be awed by the park. Uh, the next item that we have to show you um, is a ledger from the Wiley camp in 1923 to 1924. Uh, William Wiley first established concessions in the park um, through a series of tent cabins known as Wiley Camp in 1917. And he had also had a similar set of camps in Yellowstone, and that's how he was able to get that concessions contract. But what's really neat about this ledger, um, if you zoom in here, you can see that the first line on this page, dated September 4th, 1923, is Stephen Mather. And he was the first director of the National Park Service from 1917 to 1929. So he was coming to Zion to take in its beauty. And we have um, the documentation right here in our museum collection. The next item that I wanna show you um, is a matchbook from the Union Pacific Railroad. So matchbooks were developed in the late 1800s and really became an advertising tool um, to show um, people uh, as became an advertising tool um, for businesses to showcase um, their product. But in this case, you'll see that it says an incomparable scenic trip by bus or private car and shows the route from the north rim of the Grand Canyon all the way up to Zion and Bryce and Cedar City. So this is a really neat piece. Um, and one of my favorite things about it is that one of the matches is missing. So you can't help but think who was using that and where did they light that match and what kind of fire was created in the process. So I've also pulled out some documentation of the Civilian Conservation Corps. Um, they were present in Zion from 1933 to 1942, and they did a lot of work constructing roads and trails, as well as campgrounds and some employee residences. Um, so this photograph here um, shows Company 692 of Camp NP4 in Springdale, Utah, which is the town just outside of Zion. Um, and it highlights all of the men and their service during the CCC. Um, to go along with that, one of the gentlemen in the photo is um, Harold Wood. We have his scrapbook of his personal adventures through Zion and Southwest Utah. Um, so here you can see uh, the scrapbook says Snapshot Treasures and has the CCC logo on it. And if you were to flip through, you would see photos of Harold and his friends um, and all of their adventures, both on the clock and in their spare time. If you were to look closer into these CCC photos as well, 
You may notice this insignia on some of the uniforms that the men are wearing. Um, these are shoulder patches from the CCC uniform, and they are um, a red base with green lettering that says USCCC with a tree emblem. And the final item that we've pulled out to showcase the CCC era in Zion is this Christmas edition of the Zion Zephyr, which was a camp newsletter. It showcases um, different national news as well as sports and local events that these men were participating in while they were members of the CCC here. Um, the final piece that I would like to show you is a blueprint of the Zion Lodge. It was constructed in 1925 um, by, and the building was designed by Gilbert Stanley Underwood. He is well known throughout the National Park Service uh, for his rustic architecture, sometimes affectionately known as parkitecture, uh, which features um, blending in buildings with the natural landscape so they don't appear to be out of place. So you'll see the lodge features some natural stone um, so that it helps blend in with the environment of Zion. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, we really enjoyed showing you some of our favorite objects from early park history. And if you're interested, there will be a part three coming out soon where we feature some more modern history about Zion.